Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to show a gun I got off uh, about a few weeks ago now. Um, I got it from a co-worker, so it's a pretty important gun to me. I really like this co-worker. He's uh, super nice, super helpful, and super kind. He's a retired police officer um, from a nearby city around here. And uh, he's just a cool guy, and he gave me, he basically gave me this gun. I mean, I actually paid him more than what he asked for it, uh, just because I felt bad, because it was a good gun for him. And I've always wanted one, and uh, in talking to him, he gave it up for me. So it's a Beretta 20, 950B 22 short Minx. And uh, just to make sure we're clear, empty magazine and an empty chamber. And the cool thing about these is you can tip up the barrel and look right through it and load another one. So the way you'd load it is you top off the magazine, throw the magazine in there, and if the barrel's closed, you just pop another shell in there and then cock it and then you're ready to go. Uh, it's a really cool gun. I, I don't know why, but I'm drawn to little guns like this. Um, just for size comparison, this is a 50 BMG shell. So it's, it's literally this size of a 50 BMG shell. But they're just, I don't know, little guns, they just draw my eye, they draw my attention. Just that you can put that functionality into such a small package. You can just throw it in your pocket and forget about it. And, uh, you know, just plink around if you're walking through the woods, just, you know, shoot pine cones or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but it is 22 short. Um, it is the Minx. I don't know if you can see the uh, branding on there. It just says Beretta 950B 22 Minx, 22, or 22 short Minx. But uh, stamp right on the grips there and there. Um, it's in great condition. He said he bought it brand new in 1970 for I think $25 I want to say he bought it for rifling's decent he painted the sight a little bit um, it's got a better sight picture than my baby browning um, just because of that front sight post is a little painted the uh, the notch groove rear sight is a little bigger it's it's just easier to pick up than the than the baby browning uh, it's just a cool gun the history behind it um, Such Double O did a great video on these guns, so I'm kind of copying him off that. But uh, I've never, never taken this gun down. I've never cleaned it. I have shot it. Um, I think on this particular one, I'll show some video of me shooting it. But I think on this particular one, the uh, hammer spring is a little light. I don't know if he kept it cock over, cocked over the years and it just became weaker. But um, it seems like it's getting good hammer strikes on the primer, but um, it might be a little weak, and I, I'm thinking about replacing that because I did have some failure to uh, uh, ignite, and you know that's that's kind of, it's 22, so it's not a reliable cartridge. But I just wanted to show it off. I don't know a whole lot about these. I know they were super popular back in the day. I think Beretta still makes them. Taurus makes a few of them, uh, but I'm a fan of the Berettas just because. Uh, I'm a big fan of Italy, so, you know, them being made over there, and it's just cool. But uh, the whole mag magazine holds six shots. Throw, like I said, you know, you load a mag up, throw it in there, pop one in the chamber, and then cock it, and you're ready to go. You got six plus one. Uh, so it's just a cool little, cool little gun I wanted to show off. I actually literally, like, five days ago bought the same gun of this except in a 25 and that's the jet fire uh the only problem is it didn't come with a magazine so i'm waiting on a magazine but uh, it's growing my little little gun collection um suits double called the mouse guns um so i've got uh, four of them now um but uh it's just a fun little gun i just wanted to show you guys if you're interested in if you're interested in just fun little guns they're just plinking around this is the ticket right here it's cheap um, you know, on gun broker, they're going for, I don't know, 250, 350, something like that. Um, I, I actually got this for $200. He said, Oh, give me 175 for it. And I said, no, I'll, I'll at least give you 200. So that's, that's the deal we got. And, uh, I feel like I got a really good deal. Cause you know, you got some wear marks right there, a little bit on the frame. He actually made a leather holster for it. Uh, pocket holster um, so I might use that but uh, as 
as unreliable as this gun shoots, I'm probably not going to carry it. I might just for, you know, nostalgia, just for fun. But uh, it's just a cool gun. And that pop-up barrel feature is just the coolest thing in the world. Just this switch right here, and you just, boop, pops right up. And, you know, it, you know, say you pull the trigger and nothing happens, you can always cock it again. It is only single action. Um, it's got a fairly light, fairly light trigger pull. I mean... You got that take up, a little mushy, and then the break. And then reset. Oh, it's not going to reset, but it's a cool little gun. I love this thing. Uh, I don't care if it shoots accurate. I don't care if it doesn't shoot every time. It's it's just the fun factor that's the cool factor about this thing. I bring this to the range, and my this and my baby Browning and some other guns I have, and People go, oh my gosh, that's so small. Can I shoot it? I'm like, of course you can. I'd, I'd love for you to try it out um, because it's just, you know, it's just a cool little gun. So also, I'll roll in some footage of me shooting it and then I uh, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool little gun. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.